Hi all, I have another fascinating game to show you between Stockfish playing white against Leela. Let's have a look. This is in the Blitz Bonanza final five minutes with a two second increment. Okay, so E4 from Stockfish and we have the opening book is the Sicilian defense with Bishop B5 check. So the Nimzovich Rosalimo variation. Knight D6, D7 is given and this is the end of the book. Stockfish chooses the castle. A6, Bishop D3. This looks like the Kopec system after Danny Kopec. Uh, so sometimes in that system, C3 and Bishop C2, and then D4 later. Knight GF6, Rook E1. E6, A4, B6, C3. So Stockfish does seem keen on this central plan. Bishop B7, Queen E2. But now a really shocking move is played in this position. Usually queen c7 is played. For example, knight a3, bishop e7. There has been some games with that. But guess what Leela plays in this position? If I give you five seconds to pause the video. Okay. Who dares wins, as they say, in Only Fools and Horses? G5. Yeah, pawn sack to try and have a direct attack against the white king we have now stockfish playing the cautious h3 if knight takes g5 then there is some pressure here for example after knight h3 knight e5 black has two things to play for here the g file but also there's a kind of exposed piece on d3 which makes d5 a lot more effective uh, ideas associated with with that if the bishop has to go back for example here and the bishop going back to d3 d5 is actually quite possible here uh, this is just very good for black and even better is uh, this will be a total disaster as you can see here just immediate crushing pressure on g2 would be winning material so very very interesting so h3 not allowing that huge pressure on the g-file rook g8 bishop c2 but g4 anyway hg knight takes g4 it seems white has to tread carefully here the king side has been slightly compromised d4 will this central move be enough queen f6 knight bd2 and queen g7 now d5 from white black castles queen side so this is really a great way to play for a win early g file attack opposite side castling leader is playing like a real attacking player here would rook e8 queen f1 king b8 knight c4 queen f6 we have bishop d1 h5 a5 b5 it seems stockfish wants to somehow get into the into the king position so this looks like a, a pawn which could be vulnerable on b6 one day h4 knight h2 knight takes king takes now e takes d5 e takes rook takes e1 queen takes e1 and it looks as though there's a very dangerous check here with this kind of form pawn will lila actually take on d5 yes check and now bishop g4 with a tactical idea rook takes there's queen d7 check picking up the rook so isn't this really dangerous has leela missed this not really queen e5 check just gets the queens off we have now it was a difficult position for white here anyway with the pressure on g2 and f2 so um yep queen e5 and leela succeeded in getting a very very nice end game position basically bishop h3 king takes b6 and that pawn is indeed uh, taken off now so a pawn up or is it two pawns up one two three four one two three four five six two pawns up pardon me bishop e3 bishop e7 rook d1 king c6 f3 a5 so amazing that stockfish with the white pieces is just two pawns down here yeah, uh, bishop e6 check the king goes back bishop h7 stockfish is being a nuisance but these pawns are coming down the board 
Now the king goes back in the center and the leader is actually preparing, it seems. Soon we'll see that here after bishop e6, potentially h3 can be made more effective pretty shortly. After first putting the rook on g8, you'll see now that this idea is much more effective. And in fact, here, white does trade off that bishop rather than retreating. It looks as though in this particular position now h3 is dangerous. For example, g takes bishop h4 check, rook g2 check, and black's getting a massive advantage. So with this, it seems as though the, the black king is set to walk on the light squares now, which have been compromised. They were already gripped by the pawns. The road was already formed earlier by these pawns on light squares. The king can just walk on that road soon. So we'll see that soon. Rook g8 here. Okay, bit of shuffling. Dissolving the h pawn. But now ready to... That dissolves black's doubled pawns. So still two pawns up. But with the king now ready to start walking. But first this e pawn is pushed a bit. Restricting the black pieces. The king's walking in on the light squares. It just looks absolutely crushing positionally this endgame. E3 check. So this is trying to undermine the pawn chain here of bishop takes. Yep. Not a game which gave Stockfish too much tactical counterplay at all. Just positionally, it seems, ground down. And all that's needed now is an A3 move to totally destroy this pawn chain. That is played. And this is absolutely winning. After King D2, it's it's absolutely hopeless. Crashing through. Yes. Devastation. Winning with the black pieces, quite rare against Stockfish to lose with the white pieces. And the game carried on a bit. Let's see the technique. Okay, checkmate there. So quite interesting, these kind of positional wins that occurred in this tournament. So this is one of them. And um, yeah, just with the black pieces, just very, very direct early play, getting a very, very nice end game as a result. If you enjoyed this game video, then please click on the top left box, which should appear shortly to become a member at chessworld.net. Play against other YouTubers. You can also test yourself on the variations covered in this game and other game videos from the improved menu puzzle books option, which is a link to the annotated game. Comments, questions, donations, see the description. Like, share, subscribe with the notification bell. Really appreciate it. Thanks so much.